Normally an icon should represent the content of the file, but in fact all the icons for thousands of music files are the same. We present a way of generating individual icons for every music file, mirroring its content. When our application is started for the first time, it adds a shell extension to Windows Explorer and asks the user to train the system. The user has to pick a few different songs from his or her music collection. For each, he or she chooses a special icon out of 15 presets and 15 variations of the last icon that has been clicked. These music icons consist of bloom-like shapes, which are generated with 8 parameters. Six of them are used to build two colors, the remaining two are responsible for the shape. If the train base is complete in the sense of covering a large area of the user's personal taste of music, the training process can be started. For a small excerpt of each song, the mail frequency capsule coefficients are extracted, clustered and used as input for the neural network training. If we look inside the folder of music files after the training, we can see that our file extension generates default icons for every file. In the background, the request for an icon for this song is written into a vlog file. So if we go back and start the application again, the user is asked if he or she would like to build the icons for the locked files now. By confirming a process that builds a music icon for every sound file is started. Again, the MFCCs serve as input for the neural network and produce an 8-dimensional parameter vector, the base for drawing a music icon. The image data are then written into an ID3 tag of the mp3 file. In our music folder we can see how the shell extension extracts these images from the sound files and displays the individual icons for every file. As the icons are saved in different typical sizes, we can see a high quality version of the icon in any view that the explorer offers. This technique largely simplifies visual data mining in large music collections.